Hello children, welcome to Fun Learning Channel. Today we are going to learn conversion of metric measures from lower units to higher units. So let's get started. To convert a lower unit into a higher unit, we divide. Now look at the chart. The base or the standard unit is in the middle, which can be meters, grams or liter and to the right we have the smaller units deci, centi, milli and to the left are the bigger units deca, hecto and kilo. And to convert the small units from milli to centi divide by 10, centi to deci divide by 10, deci to the base or the standard unit divide by 10 and from the base to the deca divide by 10 and so on. Now let us look at some examples. First, convert 2850 meter into kilometer and meter. According to the chart, meter m, then decameter dam, then hectometer hm, and last kilometer km, all divided by 10. So 1000 meter is equal to 1 kilometer. Therefore, 2850 meter is equal to 2850 divided by 1000. Quotient is 2, remainder is 850. We will write the quotient in kilometers and remainder in meter. 2 kilometer, 850 meters. Next, convert 3760 ml into liter and ml. ml, then cl, then dl and l. All steps will be divided by 10. So, as a result, we get 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter. Therefore, 3760 milliliter is equal to 3760 divided by 1000. Quotient is 3, remainder is 760. We will write the quotient in liter, 760 remainder as ml. So, 3 liter, 760 ml. Convert 896 centigram into gram and centigram. So, we have centigram, decigram and gram divided by 10 in all the steps. So, as a result, we get 100 centigram is equal to 1 gram. 896 cg is equal to 896 divided by 100. Quotient is 8, remainder 96. We will write the quotient in gram, remainder in centigram. So, answer is 8 gram, 96 centigram.